Hey guys, today we're back with another shooting review. And today on the range we have the Taurus Model 85 Blackout Edition. Stay tuned for this one. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, once again, we are doing the shoot review on the Taurus Model 85 Blackout Edition. Uh, this is one of the better looking Tauruses I've actually seen. Uh, I'm not really that big of a fan of Taurus. I've had a lot of uh, Taurus revolvers, Taurus automatics, the Millennium G2s, and uh, almost every, uh, not governor, but uh, judge that they ever made. And uh, I just had a lot of problems with Taurus revolvers, but let me tell you something. This one right here is actually a gem. Uh, it's really the the best Taurus revolver I've ever had. Uh, whenever I whenever I first got it, I was like, my God! I said, what what a like the single action on it is killer. You got a single action that's almost good, as just as good, if not better, if some of the, if some of the better Smiths I've had. And the double action ain't nothing to shake at either. The double action's good. It's not a it's not a Cold or a Smith, but it, it's it's good. Uh, gun feels like it's really good and finished. Like uh, if you have seen my coat uh, my coat cover review, I said uh, you know around the edges it feels a little rough. This this gun right here is very smooth all the way through, and is really good looking. It's like a, a powder coated Sir coated Dura coat. I don't know if uh, what you would say that, but it's from the factory, and it it really looks good it's a two uh, two inch revol or two inch barrel and uh, full uh, full barrel underneath it and it's got some weight to it it feels like it's all stainless uh, as you can see right now whenever I was shooting uh, the first shot I hit a hostage target from uh, about 15 20 yards out so I'm, I was very impressed with that uh, being straight up honest with you I, I actually shoot this gun right here better than I did the Colt Cobra or the uh, or the 642 Smith & Wesson. So this, this gun right here has really impressed me a lot. Um, like I said, one time I think I've done double action with the rest, I've done single, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the grips on them are really cool. It's got the bull uh, emblem in the grips on both sides. As you can see, gun is 100% unloaded again. Uh, but all in all, th this gun is very, very nice. Uh, I, I would like to carry it maybe just a pocket holster, maybe on inside the waistband holster. But um, when it comes to shooting this thing, it, it ain't got no recoil either. I mean, I, I was in there shooting them 38 Special, and then was plus P rounds. And it was uh, barking just like a little dog. I mean, it, it, it was nice. Uh, I, for, for how much this gun is new, this might be one of the best deals on revolvers on the market right now. Taurus has always made good uh, Model 85s, and that's always been one of their most popular lines. But after shooting this in the day, this it has it's got me back in a, a believer as the, uh, for the new Tauruses. If they uh, keep up with the work that they've done with this and right here, I think the Taurus uh, could uh, very well come back to what they uh, once was, or come back from what they once was a piece of junk. But now they're uh, they're really starting to compete with the revolvers for sure. But um, once again, thank you for uh, viewing the video. Like and subscribe for my gun reviews. Did any of y'all actually have a Taurus Model 85? Um, my aunt has a real old Taurus Model 85, like maybe a early two, or early 1990s model. It's a real old one. It's it's blue. It's not like this, but it you know it's a pretty nice little pistol. But uh, but yet, any of y'all actually carry one? Do y'all any y'all have one? What do you think about them? Do you think Taurus is coming back, or do you think? Uh, you think Taurus is, uh, you know, what they once was. Personally, to me, I think I think this right here is one of the best, uh, one one of my favorite revolvers I've ever had. But uh, once again, thank you, and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs>